course. Oh. I was like, let's save real quick. After this battle. I didn't know it hit everybody. Pleasantly surprised by that. Yeah, let's save real quick. Just because we've done a lot. We're four levels higher than we were before. We have 10 Mercury, 9 Venus, 7 Mars, and 8 Jupiter. We're gonna f we're about to get one more Venus, so we'll have 10. And we know that there's at least two more Mercury waiting for us inside of Billions. So I have a feeling by the end of this section, we'll be at least 12 Mercury. It's gonna be ridiculous. Oh yeah, I still ha I, can't, I still can't go to the town yet, so I gotta go the long route. I'm gonna say at least they don't make me climb that. Climbing up a ladder or climbing up a rope. And here we are, back in Kalma Village, where we're gonna go to the Hermes tree. Hey, look, it's the other guy, the saxophone dude. does this um the father revives a tree using Hermes water and we do the same thing 30 years later hey looks like you say um hey looks like you saved the dream tree nice work flesh guys this is the source of the dreams le dream leaves that gain grant pleasant dreams it's also one of the great trees that Kalama village is built into Hermes water uh, has cured the disease that ravaged the dream tree and it leaves are healthy again where did we get the Hermes water? We got it from Briggs. What happened? My daughter just started crying all of a sudden. She's still laying down, but she was crying while laying down. Now she's standing up. You heard? Oh, you heard my baby? She can't find her pacifier now. No. She's looking up at the camera. <laughs> Probably because of the light. Um, but you originally, f in, the, in the first game, you find the water at the base of uh, Mercury Lighthouse. Yeah, she's up now. And my wife is most likely asleep by now. Uh, Pierce. Pierce gave it to Briggs, but Briggs didn't know what it was. He didn't know its value, so he gave it to us as payment. Mm, I might need to run upstairs. Which is unfortunate because, you know, the stream is supposed to be in over anyway. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Is that Pewter? Uh, who are you? You look like an adept, but you don't know a Jenny when you see one? Not too bright, Tenderfoot. I see you've even got a few Venus Gen on you. What am I, funny looking or something? Forgive us, we weren't exact actually looking for a gin inside the tree. Or indeed at all. Whatever. You um you'd have to be wet behind the ears to miss me though. You guys really need to work on your sense of humor. Tell you what, I'll wake when it's time to laugh. Okay, good. She just laid back down by herself. I think she found her pacifier. No, she didn't. 
I think she's standing, she's sitting on it. Yeah, she was sitting on it, so she couldn't find it. I wonder what spooked her. She must have had a bad dream. I'm gonna have to run up there. Hey, um, are you are you here simply to annoy us, or have you come with a purpose? Oh, dry up, Mr. Wet Blanket. Look, if you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, we'd appreciate it if you leave us alone. Chat, I will be right back. Okay? Be right back. Sorry about that chat. I I need to end the stream. Um, she's she's having a, a meltdown, so I need to get up there and take care of that. So let me let me finish this cutscene real quick, and then we'll save. Uh, and then I need to go. Yep, time for baby. Yep, yep. My wife was knocked out. Uh, look, if you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, we'd appreciate it if you'd leave us alone. Fine, fine. I'll deliver my message and stop bringing a sense of joy and laughter to the world. For saving the dream tree, I most humbly thank you, Yakety Smacky and all that. Yakety Smackety, what are you talking about? Eh, Laurel said some other stuff too, but I can't remember what it was. You can ask her when you see her. This member of the um, Welda tree, um, tribe is one of the guardians of the column of, uh, column of forts, along with Tret. Her emissary, Pewter, has some trouble remembering his manners. Hey, if you want to complain to someone, take it up with the Column of Forest management. So Laurel's in Column of Forest. I thought we couldn't um, actually get through there. You beat the big lizard, right? You should be good to go then. He was the problem with the forest, not Laurel. See you later. Don't keep the big lady waiting. What was all that about? I suppose he was a messenger for this, for this Laurel person. So who's Laurel? Someone important enough to have a djinn as messengers. The forest elder, perhaps? Great. Someone else to tell us what to do. I think we should go. Whoever Laurel is, she's gone to the trouble of sending a messenger to find us. So we should return the favor, right? Yep. Yeah, I guess I'm a little curious about this elder of the forest. A little. This elder can use djinn as messengers. I'm excited to meet this person. As am I. 
Your collective curiosity is beginning to rub off on me, I must confess. Alright, let's go meet ourselves a forest elder. Yeah, but why does his face look like that? I'm so confused. I love the peaceful music that comes back to this place now. That root, that tree over there is called the roof tree. It leaves from form a sort of umbrella for the town. The four uh, giant trees all have names. The dream tree, the gin tree, the roof tree, and the sapling tree. And I already got the gin out of the gin tree, so... Well, yes, I am Bondi. You were looking for me so you could hear an arm go a prelude. You want me to head back to uh, Belinsk and rejoin my band? Yes. Sorry, but our Goa prelude will have to wait. I came to see the mountain rock and I will see it. All right, let's go into the forest. And we'll save at the base of the forest. Uh, but we didn't get home until like one and still had to eat and do baby laundry and all that kind of stuff. So um, normally I would be like, yeah, I'll just stream a little bit later, but I'm supposed to be going over my in-laws house for my mother's birthday that just passed yesterday. I was supposed to be having like a little get together for, uh, for her at their house. So I have to unfortunately be gone by a specific time today. You don't speak uh, English fluently? That's all good. If I have any questions, you'll know because I'll ask you. And as not as rude a way as possible, all right? <coughs> That's air glitch. Your English is good. Wait, I'm supposed to follow him, I guess. I guess I'm supposed to follow him. Oh, hey, it's a new area. So I got to go up that way. Um, I should still have growth on one of these guys. So yeah, I hope everybody's having themselves a good Friday. Um, does anybody have anything nice planned for the weekend? I myself don't really have... Oh, I do. I am going to be going to my nephew's first birthday party on Sunday. But in terms of tomorrow, it's really just going to be standard stream fair. We're going to play some League of Legends. To start the day off with, and then we'll probably transition into more Golden Sun or Stardew Valley, one of the two. I've been craving Stardew Valley lately, so I might actually just do Stardew after League tomorrow. Looks like Legend of Zelda Pokemon. Your, your brothers are coming around tomorrow? Nice! You guys have plans to do anything, or are you guys just going to chill around the house and play video games or something like that? Watch um, movies or whatnot. So it's a treasure chest over there. I should be able to hit it from the... <laughs> Wrong one. I was mashing the button too fast. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Something in my throat. I don't know what it is. But I needed to get out of my throat. Please and thank you. I'm trying to choke me. Oh, I can jump from there. But I want that treasure chest, so we're going to go down here first. <clears throat> Wasn't worth it. I mean, it kind of was, but it kind of wasn't. Oh, I'm almost done with that. Nice. Then I can give that to Tyrell. Tyrell still needs a sword. Um, who did I get that potion to? Karis? Yeah. She's only got two, though. She doesn't even need it because she's the healer. I probably should give it to, to uh, Tyrell or uh, Matthew. So they don't have a way to actually heal anybody. 
I was like, I know I made the jump before. It ain't gonna lie to me and tell me I can't make it anymore, are they? Just chill around the house, watch movies, play video games. He's got a lot of games on his PC. Oh, nice. That sounds like a blast. Yeah, I can't remember the last time that my sister's been over my house. Um, and so that we could play like Mario Party and whatnot. <clears throat> Man, do you know Cat Goes Fishing? You love this game? I've never heard of Cat Goes Fishing. Is that like a board game? <clears throat> That's what it sounds like. It sounds like a board game. <laughs> sounds good, uh, pumpkin. I'm just gonna call you that. Sounds good, Jax. Have a good one. I know it's pretty late, so I hope you get some good rest. Um, I want to go down, but at the same time, I don't want to go down. Does that make sense? It's a nice game to chill. You are a cat, and you go fish. Wait, so is it like Stray? Okay, I'm about to say, no, I just went the wrong way. Hey, you made it. I owe Laurel five coins. Hey, what's the matter, big fella? Looks like you got a freight. What do you expect when you um what do you expect when you just pop out of nowhere like that? Please, that got that got you all hot and bothered? Not much of a warrior, are you? <clears throat> Pewter, I have warned you about being polite to guests. You got a taekwondo lesson? Ooh, that sounds like fun. I used to do taekwondo when I was young and Not officially though, so I don't have any belts or anything like that. I just took classes from my uncle who was actually the one taking the classes. He would just teach me things when he got home. My deepest apologies, you have not traveled all this way to listen to Peter's nonsense. If I may introduce myself, I am Laurel, guardian of this, for this forest. You're a talking tree. <clears throat> I am usually referred to as a holy tree. All my better days, even a tree of wisdom. Astonishing to meet a holy tree in the flesh. A tree of wisdom. I mean, a tree of wisdom. We have legends of such an out day. Are you familiar with the tale of the enlightened lark? Indeed I am. The lark in question perched in my branches for a time on his path to understanding. I apologize for not recognizing you, Elder Law. I am Amity. It is a great honor to meet you, Holy One. Psst, Amity, what are you doing? We are in the presence of an enlightening entity. Bow your heads. Did Amity just call the tree Holy One? Yeah, I think he did. Does he think Laurel is some sort of priest or god? Do please raise your head, Amity. I am no divinity, and the last thing I need is someone praying to me. I understand that you're relatively short-lived species um that to your relatively short-lived species the walda i can't actually pronounce it walda walda i'm not entirely sure how it's pronounced you're a red belt nice two more belts and you'll be a black belt this basically legend of that especially with the tree I also can see how, from your point of view, a talking plant would be novel. I would prefer to think of us as beings whose long lives allow us to gather and sh um, a share of the world's knowledge. I must respectfully disagree. The qualities you describe are the very essence of divinity. What part of I'm not a god do you not understand, fish brain? That is enough, Pewter. I apologize again for, um, Pewter. I also must thank you for not um, for what you've done for the Dream Tree. If you had not intervened, I am certain that Sludge would have destroyed it. 
Smosh was born from the angry spirits of the creatures killed when the Golden Sun relocated uh, Kalama Village. Its curse altered the Dream Tree to produce nightmares and uh, causing leaves. Poor Sledge deserves some sympathy as well, though. His home was destroyed around him. Is that why you didn't fight it? You felt sorry for the lizard thing? Hey, if Laura and the others had um, had been healthy, Sledge wouldn't have stood a chance. Healthy? Is Laura sick? Injured? Walda um, took a while to heal, and Laura still hurt from 30 years ago when that when the thing happened. These plant-based beings live for many human generations together and mix knowledge on their over their long lives. Certain Walda um Walda tribesmen, such as Trent and Laurel, have gained each enough wisdom to be deified and known as enlightened trees. The thing? You mean the Golden Sun? Yes. Pewter isn't um, one for details, but let us return to the matter at hand. Is there some way I can repay you? Um, Matthew, do you think we can just ask a holy tree for the feather? Feather? Er, yes, we came to call him, uh, in looking for a feather from a mountain rock. What for, if I may ask? I sort of broke a soul ring, and Matthew's dad, Isaac, said we had to get a new feather for it. Did you say Isaac? What, ab what about Isaac? I'm sorry, Trent looks more like a rock than a tree. It looks like a giant rock pillar than a tree. Ah, awake at last, Trent. Trent, is that you? Trent is ugly, so this is Trent. Another tree of wisdom. Yes, yes, I'm Trent. Who are all of you? These are the warriors who defeated Sludge. Sludge, I thought I subdued him some time ago. He recovered while you were resting, Trent. He was gnawing at Kalama again. He had almost destroyed the Dream Tree when um, we intervened. <sighs> and why didn't you stop him, Laurel? I was occupied defending the rest of the forest from its influence. Of course, we are not what we once were. But we were talking about Isaac. What were you all going to tell me about him? Apparently, these young humans are the children of the Warriors of Vale. Warriors of Vale? And that, um, is that what they're calling Isaac and Ivan and Mia? And... And there was one more. <laughs> yeah, Garrett. Did you just forget about my dad? <laughs> that goes to show how forgettable Garrett was. Don't nobody care about Garrett. <clears throat> yes, Garrett. You're the Firebrand son, eh? What is your name? I'm Tyrell. Yes, I see Garrett in your aura. Let's see who, let's see who I see in the rest of you. Yes, you're all adepts. Good. You do look like the Veil vale Warriors. Ah. You, you're Isaac's son. What is your name? What was that? You'll have to speak up. I, know, I didn't catch your name. He's kind of quiet. His name is Matthew. And you're Ivan's daughter. Hmm. Oh yes, I'm Karis. Looks like you got a bit more spark than your father. And just as clever, too. Two more of you. My name is Reef. You were a great help to my mother. If that's so, I'd say it was the other way around. I am Amity of Alethe. It is a great honor to make your acquaintance. Hmm, charmed, I'm sure. Another relative of Mia, right? Yeah, I guess technically Mia would be his aunt, right? I think the way it works is, uh, Alex was Mia's brother, I believe. Or cousin, one of the two. This warrior of Vale traveled with Isaac. She is a water adept whose powers were inherited by her son, Reef. She is descended from the Mercury Clan, keepers of the elemental lighthouse of the same name. What? Are you serious? He's traveled with us, but he's from AJ in the south. He's a prince of the Alethe kingdom. So you're saying he's not related to a group? His aura says otherwise. Let's not get distracted by trivialities right now. Trivialities? I'm actually called... 
the particular uh, identity of a, somebody of their group, a triviality. Like, he doesn't know who he is, and he's been trying to figure out forever now. And so someone gives him some insight into it, and they call it a triviality. Wow. What? What's going on? <coughs> Could this be? Hmm. Hope I didn't give away any family secrets. Please forget, please forgive Tret, his bluntness, um, please forgive Tret his bluntness. I keep having to apologize to you for the behavior of my companions. This is a topic best discussed amongst yourselves, I think. Let us change the subject. Change the subject? But why? I believe you were discussing a feather of some sort. That's right, a feather from a rock mountain. A mountain rock, I might bet. Yes, quite. I understand. We hope someone as wise as you could help us. Is that so? Unfortunate. What? What's unfortunate? It's the mountain rock. What's the problem? You want to sh you want to show you things? We need a feather. Simple. Yo, he's a, he's so rude. No, simple is the one thing it's not. I'm afraid. You're a tree of wisdom. Don't you know everything? Is a feather really too much? Certainly there's something you haven't told us. Or clearly there's something you haven't told us. Well... Out with it! We should tell them. It probably won't make a difference, but yes, the rock in question... The mountain rock is sleeping. Deeply. Very deeply. Such is the rock's slumber. That extracting a feather um, as it sleeps is impossible. What's more, only a certain type of synergy can wake it. Yes, it's a synergy that only naturally occurs among the beastmen. It's called Slap. Shmata! She has that synergy. Her synergy? Yes, that must be the synergy we need. You know an adept capable of Slap? Only Shmata, but she's currently in Blinitsk, which is problematic. Is slap the only way to awaken the mountain rock? Yes, but it's possible to use the slap gov instead of the natural ability. Last I knew, the slap gov was located in B uh, Belinsk. It's one of the Fang tribe's great treasures. So that just brings you back to where you were, doesn't it? <laughs> Wait, didn't Briggs say that Trent might know something about Berlin's castle and its and castle and its defenses? He might know something that'll help us rescue Eolio. Let's ask him. Ask me what now? Speak up. We need to rescue the pirate Eolio from Bil um, Berlin's Berlin's castle before he's buoyed alive. So you're asking us if there's a way to break into Berlin's prison? Is that right? Well, is that it? Well, yeah, if you want to thank us, that would do the job kind of perfectly. I suppose we do owe you that, um, but the way will not be without risk. The city's energy was depleted some time ago, which will be a problem for you. You should first know that the front gate is essentially impossible to pass through discreetly. Yeah, we were hoping you'd know some other way. You assume a castle built on ancient ruins must have a secret entrance infested with traps and monsters. Well, yes. Well, you're right. This time, there is a hidden door, but it can't be used without being powered by it somehow. If you could bring power to the door, I'm certain it would be operable by a control switch or the, or the like. So, you need an object infused with magma power. Fortunately for you, we know of one. The magma ball, right? Wonderful, what is it? When the mountain rock awakens, yes, when the rock awakens, when the great bird is defeated, a shard of its power will appear. You will know it on sight. That should be all you need to know. Just in time, too. I feel a nap coming on. Looks like he really fell. I really did fall asleep. So is that it? Are we going to try and sneak into uh, Belen's castle now? Wow, yeah, let's go rescue ourselves a prince. We need to meet up with Shveta too. 
I'm just not sure how this will all work. I do have one favor to ask of you. The reason Berlinsk ruins lie dormant in it is the dangerous legacy that sleeps there. Dangerous? Like a weapon or something? Are you saying that the power was cut intentionally? I cannot say. What is this favor you spoke of? There is an alchemy dynamo ruin the ruins. You must not restore it to power. This ancient machine is found in the Berlinsk ruins. It is said to be dangerous, but it's not currently functioning. How, do, how will we even do that? If I told you, that would bring you one step closer to activating it, so I will not share that secret. Whatever. Why would we even want to turn on some stupid dynamo? We're not turning it on, are we, Matthew? Right, definitely not turning it on. I like your confidence. And yet, somehow, we're going to accidentally do it, too. Watch, watch. It always works that way, right? You're developing into a real leader, Matthew. I'm proud of you. Shall we, um, shall we sally forth then? Really? He just said sally forth? Trent, uh, Trent can't wish you farewell, but please accept my wish for your safe travels from both of us. Well, you impressed the boss lady anyway. So congratulations, you just scored some major help in your quest thingy. And Laurel said something about me getting some experience in the field. What, are you new? I'm joining your merry little band. So we're all on the same scroll? Good, let's get going. Great, now we have another Tyrell on the team. Luckily he won't speak to us anymore after this. I don't think. Haha, <laughs> he joined Tyrell too. Laurel uses the spirit of emotion as her envoy, sometimes to her to her regret. Peter's attack can penetrate strong defenses with molten metal. Actually, that sounds like it belongs to him, right? This might be a ruffian. I don't really have a choice. So we'll do it for now, right? Just so he has the stat boost. Eventually we'll get rid of we'll swap them all over. So what's this path? Oh, it's the junction. Sweet. Uh there's a Merc heading to Tyler Rock uh Tyler Peak and the Mountain Rock. No, we have to go get Shavetta first. Well, that's Shavetta, what's the point? After all, you would need Slap Energy to wake the rock. How the hell did he know this? How did you know about that? Have you been following us? That's not important now. Your goal is the mountain rock. Don't tell us what our goal here is. Wait a moment. Is that what I think it is? It has to be, right? Where did you get that? Shavetta gave it to us. It's the slap glove. But you're not adept. Do you even know how to use it? Are you calling us stupid? <laughs> now, now. Let's not get upset. I'm sure we could come to an arrangement of some sort. Are you suggesting we all team up and work together? What a bright young lady you are. How is it that you know so much about the mountain rock and the slap glove? We may have overheard a conversation or two with some talking trees. The deal you propose, you are offering the slap glove in exchange for what? We want you to help, uh, we want your help sneaking into Balin's castle. You are going anyway, right? If you are planning to sneak in and rescue the champion, uh, the chomping pirate, we can just go with you. No? Figures, come on, Hoza, um, Hilzan. We're leaving. Don't be so certain, young one. No, wait. What are you doing, Karis? Something's bothering me. I think this is actually what Shavetta wanted to happen. And I think we have to play along. Karis, what are you talking about? Don't you get it? After the tapping ruin, she left us so suddenly. And remember when we told her about the mountain rock? She acted differently after that. And the slap glove. Trent told us that it was in uh, Valensk, the treasure of the Fang tribe. So if Sveta gave it to you, she must be pretty important in the Fang tribe, right? I, I wouldn't know. How to get over her body? Magic. <laughs> That's the only answer I could ever give, right?
I have heard her called the White Deer. She's part. Um, she is part of the Morgal royal family, the Shamaral tribe. The Shamaral. The Shamaral clan. Shamaral. She is a sister to King Vojek. She told us you would pass through here to reach the rock, so we've been waiting for you. So, um, she lent us the slap dub so we would help, uh, um, so you would help us break into Belinsk. You have a slap dub, can you offer any sort of help with our entry into Belinsk? We have some soldiers, but they're still too injured to be of any help. Not exactly an equal partnership, and you two in a glove with the five of us in our synergy? But we need slap energy, or that, um, or that glove. Looks like you better get your way. I'm glad you're excited. I'm still mad about being played for a fool. So it's decided then? Good. Then let's get started with then. Ba 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 ba. You're supposed to do the thing. You're supposed to hold it up like this, as if this was Zelda. Any adept can hold and use slap glove. Well, you guys know what that means, right? If any adept can use it, we're gonna give it to uh this guy. Make him slap people. We're going this way because I want that Mercury Jenny, right? All right, uh, let's see. I should be able to reach that, right, with Crush? Yeah. Bam! I wasn't expecting him to just kind of come on out, though. Alright, Mercury Jenny, Teardrop, has joined, uh, joined you, Seth to Matthew. The spirit embodies tears shed in grief and encounter in Kalama Junction. Teardrop's own tears can bring people back from the brink of death. Ooh, another revival, uh, Jenny. So I give it to her, she'll be a white mage. I'm just gonna give it to her, right? Yeah, I'll just give it to her. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so now we can head towards the mountain rock. Hopefully we find a Mars Jenny up there because we're kind of running really low on Mars Jenny. Ba 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 do do do. Ba ba da 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 da. Five of our air bat, that's what we got standing in front of us. But we will kill it anyway. It won't survive this battle, no. Oh, it won't. Dun dun dun. I don't think anything's in here, but we're gonna rummage around anyway, just in case. It's faster than Isaac, too. There we go, he finally got his terror mace attack. She really spins around and then swings as if she's gonna hit him with a, a home run on him. All right, last one. All right, so now we'll just move forward. Yes, that's gonna hit everybody.
do, 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 do. Um, let's go with a wish well, right? I use Karis just because she has a lot of uh synergy points. La 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 Well that was unfortunately lame. Terror strike! Yike! Got another sacred feather. I'm gonna sell them. I'm just checking to make sure there's no Jenny inside these forests. Don't want to forget him because I don't want to have to come back, you know? Meltdown! Bop! Nice! Goblin party down! Like, if it seems a little bit out of the way, then there could potentially be something there, right? Ooh, that was fun. Wasn't enough to kill him. Ba, 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 ba. Um, another wish well? 